Well, Fairfax County Police, they're still looking for the teen who shot and killed a teenage boy this afternoon. And they say they know who he is. Tonight, that man out is on to find him. Our Northern Virginia reporter Max Marcilla has been at the scene of that shooting in Herndonson late this afternoon. And Max, police say this all stemmed from some sort of dispute. And that dispute happened in the parking lot just behind us at this extended stay hotel. Police say it was three teenagers, all of whom know each other. And that's when the argument started, an argument that turned deadly. It's an all hands on deck operation for Fairfax County Police and its SWAT team. The objective, finding the teenage suspect who they say shot and killed another teen Wednesday afternoon. Suspect pulled out again and shot the individual after a fight. This parking lot is a crime scene. It's where police say the suspect fired three shots, hitting the one teen but missing the other. And across the street, a scene of despair. We've blurred this video because some of the people here who heard the young boy was killed are just minors themselves. We have a teenager who's dead and shouldn't be. Um, and I can't imagine anything more devastating for, for that kid's family. Police tell us the suspect is considered armed and could be dangerous. A danger so great that an elementary school just blocks away was put into secure the building mode. I can't imagine um, what any parent would be thinking or feeling, uh, expecting their, their child to come home for dinner and, and, and doesn't make it. Tonight, an entire neighborhood feels the impact. Immediately just distraught, upset, sobbing, tears. That's how Nicole West described her 16 year old son's immediate reaction. She also fears for the safety of her community. Retaliation. I mean, these kids are just ruthless these days, but I just as a parent, I just try to keep them level headed and, you know, just try to give them as much comfort and support as I possibly can. And once again, police said this was not a random act because the three teenagers knew each other. They also say they believe they know who they're looking for. Reporting live in Herndon, Max Marcella, DC News Now.